All right, guys, so uh, I'm a little bit upset right now. I just recorded for about an hour uh, just to find out that the audio was actually completely borked. So I'm basically having to completely record everything over again, and I don't really know what to do now. I think I'm just going to go for a pronghorn hunt with handguns. So, yeah. Hopefully it'll turn out okay because I really don't want to have to record this all over for a third time. Uh, but hopefully everything goes smoothly and hopefully we get a couple good pronghorn. Alright, so I think we're going to take this one. This three seems to be one of the best things here. I think there's a few other threes, but this guy is one of... Uh, actually, he's not as high scoring as this one, but he is closer. So we'll probably still take this guy. He's going to be the easiest one to take out. Uh, he's at 91 and this can zero up to 75. I am using the 44 Magnum. I figured it would be a good handgun to go with since I haven't used it as much as I have other handguns. We've done a lot with the 454 and the 357, but I don't believe we've used the 44 much, uh, if I'm remembering correctly. So, all right, so this range seems to be about perfect. This is what the high zeroing is set to. So we'll try this 75 meter shot with the 44 Magnum and see how it goes. Might have even got that second one. Let's take a look at that. Oh, wow, we did. Okay, so we got two of them, I think. Provided that first one was a good shot. Now let's see if we can get another. Yeah, of course we weren't able to get the other one, but we did get two down, which is awesome. A lot more than I was expecting. I completely expected to botch the first shot and not even get a follow-up, but we did take two of them out, and the first one, oh my gosh. This poor thing, the 44 Magnum is extremely powerful. Jeez. I didn't realize it was so good. Left lung, stomach, intestines. Wow. That poor pronghorn. Let's see if this one had the same fate. So not quite as much pen, but still a lot. Jeez. Right lung, left lung, liver, stomach. Yeah, these guys have absolutely no chance against the 44 Magnum. That's pretty impressive. Better than I thought it would do. Wait a second. I... That looks a little bit lighter. That might be an albino. It's really hard to tell in the shadows, but... I might need to get a bit closer and double check, because I don't want to be shooting something close if this is an albino. It looks lighter than the others, just based off of what I can see in the shadows. Yeah, it's gotta be, because these ones over here, they look a little bit different. Oh yeah, that for sure is albino. Now that it's actually stepped out into the open, that is 100% an albino pronghorn, and it's pretty far away, so we could probably kill one of these close ones and be fine. So I think that's what we're gonna try and do. We'll kill one of these close ones with the 44, and then move over to take this guy out. That's really cool. It's been quite a while since I've actually seen a rare pronghorn. I haven't even seen a piebald one since the mule deer patch, which is kind of crazy because before that patch they were very common. I feel like they did fix the, prong the piebald pronghorn without really telling us. So that's actually good because they were way too common before, especially considering how rare piebald pronghorn are in real life. But yeah, this is the first rare one we've seen since the true mule patch. Ooh, they are fleeing, uh oh. The wrong gun. We did get one though. We did manage to get one before they fleed off. Let's just make sure we didn't spook the guy over here. Okay, so he's still good. So we should be okay to stock up on him. The wind will be in our favor when we go for him just because he's kind of at a better angle. These ones were in a really rough spot, but let's see what the damage is. As it was running away, we managed to get the liver, stomach, and right lung and left lung. Very impressive penetration. I'm still really impressed with the performance of this 44. I remember a while back, probably one and a half to two years ago in Call of the Wild, the handguns were pretty underpowered and very, very weak. They definitely seem way better than they used to be. As you guys have probably seen in the last few handgun videos I've done with the four. 54 and the 357 
and I think I'm, I might have used the 44 Magnum in some of those videos too, but they're definitely stronger than they used to be at one time. All right, so it's attentive now. 137 meters out. We do want to get closer. Let's just put a mark on it so we know exactly where it is. That way I don't lose track of it. Since we are in these tall reeds, we don't really want to be losing this guy. Okay, so these pronghorn are getting a little closer than I wanted them to. The albino is still drinking, but the herd that we spooked off before is coming back and it's not making it easy to get around here. I hope they don't spook off, but they probably will because they're right downwind of us. And we actually have to shift towards them or else the wind is going to blow towards the albino. Gosh, yeah, it's a little closer than I wanted them. Hopefully the albino doesn't spook off and hopefully we don't get trampled. All right, so we should be really, really close now. I'm actually not sure where in the reeds it actually is. So that's kind of a problem. I'm going to try and move a little bit more to the left over here and maybe we can get a better angle on it. But as of now, I'm not seeing it and it's going to be pretty hard to see it. Of course, this guy had to be at literally the worst lake for stalking. This lake's absolutely terrible for trying to get close. So it doesn't help at all. Oh wow, he is really, really close. Okay, um, this actually worked out absolutely perfect. I'm not sure how he didn't spook off, but there he is. And there he goes. That is crazy. We got to 18 meters without him spooking. I'm honestly pretty impressed that I even made it that close because normally I'm not very good at getting close to these guys or anything for that matter. <laughs> but we got him down and that's a beautiful looking pronghorn. Uh, this one probably won't go in our lodge because it is smaller than the one we already have. 58.90. It is just a silver. Actually pretty far below gold but still really cool and we'll probably put it in a lodge. Not our main one but... Uh, one of the secondary lodges, so that's pretty cool. Definitely a cool trophy to get. Hopefully we can come across a diamond at some point. I still don't have a 104 plus diamond, and that's something that I've really been wanting. I think my best one's like 103.7, and I've seen quite a few 104s posted, and I'd really like to get one myself, but we just haven't been lucky enough to find one. Uh, so I forgot to resume my recording, but... Uh, we just killed a level 4 from about 150 meters out. I'm kind of mad at myself for not hitting record because that was a pretty impressive shot, but we got it down and uh, we'll go find it now. We did hit vitals, so that's good. I'm, I'm sad that I didn't record that. Well, we'll have to do that with another one, but yeah, we had a pretty good shot. That makes me so sad that I didn't record this. Well, I'm not going to make that mistake twice. Oh, okay. That's a level five. That is a level five. Uh, that is a smaller one, I think. Or actually, 101's not too bad. 101's definitely not too bad. Thankfully, it's going back to attentive, so we should be okay. I think we should try... I think we should try a crazy shot on this guy. If he stops moving around, we'll go for a 100 meter shot with the 44 to try and take this guy down. The 120 right now. If he calms down, we'll try to take a shot, but he's kind of just circling right now, which I really don't like. But we'll see what he does. Okay, so he has stopped now. Let's line up. Make sure we get a good angle on it. Let's see. That hit him. And he's down. I think we got that. I think we got that shot. We'll have to go look, but I'm pretty sure that was a vital hit. And if it was, that might be the longest shot I've taken with a handgun on a diamond with iron sights. 
I was so scared that we would mess that up and it looks like we got it all right here it is here is the moment of truth is this going to be a diamond or did we mess it up it's a diamond 101.5 wow I am very surprised that we made such a perfect shot on it but that was a perfect double lung what a beautiful pronghorn that's actually one of the nicest ones I've seen when it comes to just how symmetrical it is this guy is virtually perfect just look at how well those line up that is awesome what a beautiful pronghorn what a gorgeous pronghorn very happy with that I don't know if it's gonna go in the main lodge or not though I'm gonna have to go through the pronghorn we already have and decide which ones I want to keep and which ones I want to put in a different lodge because it is one of the most uh, most common diamonds that we've been able to find so we've got quite a few of them hopefully this guy is at least a little more unique than some of the other ones in higher scoring oh my gosh are you kidding me we've got another one <laughs> <laughs> we've got another one. Oh my gosh all this time of not finding anything good and now we've got a second albino wow I can't believe that that is that is awesome that is absolutely awesome that's a really big one too 91 on the upper estimate that wouldn't be our biggest, but that's pretty huge. That's a pretty huge pronghorn. All right, so we are finally up here. We're just waiting on this albino to come back. They actually spooked off, and so I had to reset the time, and now we're just waiting for them all to get back here. But I don't believe the albino has returned yet, unfortunately, so we will have to wait a little bit longer, and hopefully it'll come along. All right, so there he is, finally. He's just behind this tree. As you guys can kind of see through it there is our big albino he's at about 70 right now and if he would just have the same sized horns on both sides this guy could have been diamond that's crazy we'll have to total up his score once we get him down and see what he would have scored if both of them had been that uh, big horn because I really think this guy could have made diamond if both of them were even all right, so we're pretty close now. He is behind these guys. He's in a pretty bad spot, honestly, but what a giant. What a huge pronghorn this guy is. Still can't believe we found another albino that's this size. I honestly never thought we'd find another 90 plus after we got that one, but this guy is indeed another 90 plus. And the fact that we got it in the same hunt as a diamond and another albino just makes this even more incredible. I don't think I've had this good of pronghorn luck in quite a long time. Uh, recently, my pronghorn luck has been pretty poor. But it looks like things are turning around. And I think we might be able to take a shot now. We can just get this guy out of his way, which we might be able to shoot both of them actually I think we're gonna try that we're gonna shoot the one in front it worked we got him there he goes we got him down that is awesome what a beautiful pronghorn. Let's grab this guy real quick as we swing by. And now for this absolutely gorgeous pronghorn. What a giant. And that was a perfect shot too. I can't believe we came across another one of these. Let's go ahead and claim this. I'm very curious to see what this guy would have scored if he had been the same on both sides. Jeez, 9170. That's a big one. It's not our biggest, but definitely big. But you can just see the difference here. So there's, wow, like a five inch difference there. Just horn length alone would have made this guy 
almost a diamond. I would add another inch there. And another there. So yeah, if this guy had been even, he would have scored over 98. That's crazy. This very well could have been our first super rare if it had just been even. Well, first super rare in a while at least. What a beauty. Let's tax this guy. That is absolutely awesome. I can't believe that we actually got one of this particular size. That is crazy. What a giant. Well, I think on that note, we'll probably just end the hunt here. Uh, after losing an hour worth of footage, I never really expected to get something this good to happen, but honestly, I'm not too mad about losing all that footage because this seems to have been a better hunt, honestly, but let's jump into the trophy lodge and we'll see these guys in there. All right, now the big question here is where do we put these guys? Because we've already got quite a few pronghorn that are already placed. I think what we're going to have to do is replace some. So we'll get rid of this right here because this is only, I believe, a level two or level one. So let's put this albino right here because that's way more impressive. And then what do we got here? This one's 99.5, but this is the cool looking one. This guy's 101.8. It's also it's also decent looking. Let's let's compare. Oh, I like this one way better. I already am liking the way this looks better, so we'll keep him even though he scores slightly less because I just like this horn shape much better. I think that looks way nicer. And as for the other albino, we're probably not going to put it up in the lodge because it is a smaller one, but that's pretty awesome. That is really awesome. I'm very happy with this hunt. I, Like I was saying, I didn't expect it to turn out this well after losing an hour's worth of recording, but that is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. All right, well, I think that's going to be it for this video, my dudes. If you enjoyed, please consider hitting that like button. It really does help me out a lot. Helps push the videos out to other viewers. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. But it's going to be it for me. Peace. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.